Welcome, you're watching uh, Ace of Swift's Haunted Places today, and I'm Ace of Swift. Today we're continuing the uh, Pioneer Settler series, but uh, first we're, uh, we're at the, uh, the old uh, Central State Hospital patient uh, graveyard. There's another one that we would like to do, but unfortunately it's somewhat inaccessible and there are no marked graves whatsoever. Um, so we're going to... Uh, we're going to we're going to uh, to the section that we can see something. There's not a whole lot, unfortunately, and, and basically that's my point. There should be more. Um, and remember to uh, like, share, and subscribe, and uh, hit the bell so that you'll be notified uh, when a new video comes out, and that helps our channel to grow. When you do those things, we appreciate it immensely. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm a horror author, and. Uh, I write horror stories, so if you look down into the uh, left corner of the video, you'll see my website, aceofswift.com. You can go to that uh, uh, address, website, and uh, see any of the books uh, that you'd like that, uh, that I've written. Uh, three of them are anthologies, which, which uh, contain uh, many great horror authors, including yours truly, and, uh, and each one of them uh, has featured a story of mine, along with the other horror authors. And I think you'll enjoy them very much. So anyway, to go on, uh, one of the things that, that, that's important when, when we visit these places, and I would like you to remember, is that uh, uh, how will people remember you when, uh, when you're gone? Uh, your family? Uh, what will be your legacy? And after you're gone, uh, do you plan to stick around as a ghost? haunt people, whatever. I want you to think about these things as you, as you look at these old tombstones and many of them before the Civil War, um, what their lives were like, uh, who did they love, uh, what kind of work did they do. And uh, We may not have the answers to all these questions, but we do know they were real life people with real problems and in most cases much shorter lives. So, for right now, Let's just go check out the graves. We don't know for sure but I think a lot of, some of these marked sections in the graveyard uh, or the cemetery uh, for uh, the old Central State Mental Hospital. And uh, in fact, there's one up there too we'll take a look at. But it's a relatively new. And you can see here, this is a, uh, a section marker, uh, but it also has some names on it, too. Uh, they've done the best they can with, uh, with the information they have, uh, but this, this is a graveyard. And you wouldn't know it otherwise, just driving past it. Uh, if you have trouble, uh, uh, remember, you put that twice with the trigger, and it'll recenter. Like this one. Yeah, okay. Um, you wouldn't know it because there's just not any markers. Uh, from my understanding, the uh, the graves, uh, according to the director of the Indiana State Medical uh, History Museum on the grounds, <coughs> uh, there were uh, some marked graves on what is now uh, the uh, IMPD uh, canine training grounds um, in the National Metropolitan Police Department. Um, and uh, But none of them are marked. From, uh, she believes that they may have been marked at one time, possibly as late as the 80s, but now none of them are. 
There's no point in going over there because all you see is weeds and grass and dirt. Um, but we do we do have uh, a, a, an attempt to rectify the situation over here anyway, and I want to show you what that is. and the numbers Central State Hospital Cemetery section number two here's one here private Union Army. Private Union Army. Unfortunately, we don't have the dates. There's just so little information. If we go on the other side, we'll see the same thing. And as recent, excuse me, as recently as 2014, the Flannery Buchanan uh, funeral homes have oh, that's what have uh, have placed a little marker out here for them. Now the only other thing here that we can see are a couple of grave markers here. Well, three of them actually, uh, and unfortunately they're unreadable. Uh, so. Uh, what you see now, that's all there is. There's nothing, there's nothing on them. Time has worn them away. But uh, here's the, the, the attempt to rectify the situation right over here. And these are brand new stones. So we'll go take a look, but you'll see what I mean. So the only thing that was there was going to muddle, muddle some. And then the rest of it is pretty much unreadable. One is toppled over. Mary. Okay, there's four of them. Mary A. Clevin Clevenger. Clevenger. Died 1888, November 9th, 1888. 52 years old. These are brand new, of course. They've still got a stake left in the ground. They've used ground penetrating radar to determine where graves are at, including over at the uh, the uh, the previous location I was talking to you about. Uh, the uh, remember the trigger. Uh, previous location I was telling you about. Um, uh, but again, none of those are none of those. They're still not marked. So you just want to show them show what we got here. There is another cemetery over here, as you can see, you know, the glimpses of uh, really doesn't have anything to do with the hospital. Uh, uh, there's some interesting tombstones there. Some of them are from the from, from the Civil War. Uh, anyway, uh, this is kind of a yeah, it's part pioneer settlers' graves, uh, but there's there's some more modern graves here too. Uh, well, 1910 and uh, and later. Uh, but it's not a family cemetery plot, and that's what we're concentrating on in this series. Uh, uh, these the, these little plots that were somewhere on farmland and at, one, at one time, and now they're a housing addition, or it's uh, uh, you know an industrial area or wherever. Uh, they're located all around the the, uh, 
uh, Marion County and uh, other counties too um, along the White River. Um, so that's what we're going to concentrate on these small little pioneer family cemeteries. They're just in, in what is now the most unusual places you could imagine. Um, so we're going to go on to another location now and uh, uh, that is, uh, what is that? Uh, 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 Bucksot, Bucksot Cemetery, yeah, Bucksot Cemetery. It's on East Prospect, um, uh, on the south southeast side of town, and uh, we're going to check out and see if uh, another location is still there or not. Maybe it may have been torn down. If so, we're going to check that out too. It doesn't have anything to do with cemeteries, but it does have to do with uh, settlers and somewhat pioneers. So. Uh, we're going to be out of here. We're going to get in the car and head over to that location now on the other side of town. So we'll see you in a bit. We're here at uh, Bucksot Cemetery on the southeast side of town. Um, there's not much written of these uh, small settler cemeteries and if there are any ghost stories surrounding them, uh, they most likely are only known to the relatively recent inhabitants of the land, uh, which in all likelihood was vast farmland. And you can see, you can imagine, even though the, the, this huge housing addition is here, you can imagine what it was like in their time. Nothing but land as far as you could see. <coughs> but, you know, perhaps some of these uh, residents here have set up some uh, night vision cameras and recorded any goings on in uh, some of these places in here, uh, or trail cameras be interesting to find out wouldn't it infrared trail cameras back here um, so if you know of anybody who's done that back here or any of the cemeteries that we visited let us comment down below and let us know uh, what you've seen and where it can be found if there's a link to it or whatever I'd be interested to know this is in Marion County Indiana <coughs> uh, but in regards to such things um, Perhaps it's wise to state out loud that no one is to follow us home. And no one is to follow you home if you decide to do the same thing. And maybe submit a prayer before you enter these places just to a uh, little bit more insurance. So we're going to head in now. And uh, we're going to see what we see through the woods. We're going to go on this trail here. Let's go. Let me know how that, uh, how that battery is doing too, camera in. We'll switch battery real quick if we need to. Gotcha. Oh, by the way, we have a stand-in cameraman today, Carlos Rodriguez. He's giving me a hand, a uh, helping hand. Um, my son, whom you, whom you know, you've seen, uh, is busy today, and uh, what with the holidays and things going on, so I've uh, volunteered this cameraman. Yeah, volunteered. That's right. B U C K S A T H, 1872-73. Now you know the rest of the stone. I'm sure is probably in the ground. This one's probably broken off. I said Christine. I'm sure Bucksafe. Charles H. Bucksafe, 1886. Was that you coughing? I just heard a cough. That wasn't me. Okay. There's some more back here, pedestal. I don't know, you can see it's surrounded by uh, a fence and there's some uh, concrete block. Uh, they stop right there. So I don't know if that, that was a pedestal for a marker that's no longer there or what. You've got this one here. See if you can get a, see if you can get a, a good picture of that on the, on the screen there, get some words. It looks like that's German, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. So can you get any closer than that? Get to see if we can get some readable words up there. Maybe somebody maybe somebody speaks German. Oh, the camera. Go ahead and yeah. Recenter it. There you go. 
and just pause it if uh, you know uh, for the viewer they can just pause it and then uh, and see let's go over here you know what maybe we ought to set this up impossible for Christine <clears throat> Christine I did the best I could 1846 to 1865 1867 to 1868. Oh my god. You go up to it. Get a close up. Close up of all of them. Frederick Key. Buck safe. 1836 to 1890. Unfortunately, one was knocked over pedestal. Well, it was on this. You can see this is metal. It was broken off. Looks like that's copper. And uh, fell over the tree eventually. The tree, a tree uprooted it, and, and now it's dead. And managed to knock over the this stone. Another marker here, but we can't tell. Uh, what it is. I don't know whether this this must have been a chicken coop or something. It's galvanized. I don't know. Looks like a looks like a bit, looks like a chicken coop to me. It's got to get lined with galvanized netting. I don't know if we can get around. There's some more of it right there. I don't know if we can get around to any of this. Oh, look at this back there. I think we can get over there if we go this way. Can you make it, Cameron? Can you make it through there? I'll try. You may be looking at the Bucksafe uh, homestead or barn or something. Don't know. How's our battery life? 20%. 20%. Okay. Must have been uh, 
This is a barn of some type. in all this Some more of that galvanized netting over there too yeah old barn what the holes for them was a drainage or something perhaps or these are those are that's a poured uh, that's a poured foundation there. Those aren't cinder blocks or anything. Wow. Well, if there's anybody listening, <laughs> don't follow us home. This is your property. We didn't mean to trespass. Uh, we did get permission from the uh, other residents. I spoke to them. And I uh, hope that you don't mind us remembering you and uh, showing other folks that you existed. A little part of your lives. And along those lines, I'll say, if you decide to visit these places, uh, and, you know, anything that's like this, be respectful of the land and the residents and the neighborhoods uh, in which these ancient greys now reside. Um, so that's going to be it for this one. Uh, this is where I wrap it up. Uh, if you like this video, it would be fantastic if you would uh, press like and, uh, and share it and subscribe to my channel. And it's free, doesn't cost anything. And uh, also hit that reminder bell so that you'll be notified every time a new video is posted. So, um, and leave a comment or two, that would be great too, uh, about any of these places that you visited in the past or that you know anything about or the history of, or anything that I've gotten wrong, please correct it if, if, if you know it to be a fact. So anyway, we're gonna wrap this up right here. And, uh, all I can say is, uh, remember, haunted places can reveal haunted faces. Sleep well.